2K is a heavily animation based game. This means that sometimes the animations are going to be tied in between offense and defense. And oftentimes you're going to lose control of your player. Whether that is the defender activating a clamps animation, forcing the ball handler into a body up animation before he can regain control of his player. Or it could be the ball handler activating a stun animation or an ankle breaker animation that would make the defender lose control of his player for a short period of time. Or consider a post move player in the interior activating a drop step animation that forces the defender to lose control of his player. 2K is a work in progress and we're trying to find the best ways to work around 2K animations. So if you want to regain control, you come to the right place. What's good All City fam? I'm All City and thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be talking about some key tips to help you guys maintain the most optimal level of control on your player. Before we continue this video, I would love to invite you guys to the number one NBA 2K22 Discord. If you guys are looking for players to run with on 2K22 or you got questions about badges, builds, and everything related to 2K, join us in our discord we would love to have you and secondly i want to thank you guys so much for the love and support the encouragement that you guys have been providing us here on this platform it really goes a long way it means a lot to me you all have been crushing these like goals so i would like to set a like goal for 200 likes on this video if you could crush it i would definitely appreciate it now let's get right into it so we're talking about the best ways to help you guys regain control of your player this way when your opponent triggers an animation you're not getting tied into that animation and the first place we want to go into is controller settings we are going to talk about some badges that can help you regain control out there but the first stop is the controller settings and we're going to scroll all the way down until you see who to guard and also defensive assist so who to guard when you have your who to guard arrow on 2k will slightly maneuver and reposition your player into a place that they feel is the most optimal for you to play defense and what 2k feels is the most optimal may not be the most optimal optimal for you so if you really want full control of your player you may want to consider taking off the who to guard arrow you will see some slight movements by 2k if you have this on and you'll feel your player move out of position so you may want to consider taking off the who to guard arrow as you become better at 2k you will not have an arrow to guide you toward your opponent so it takes some getting used to but if you want full control of your player the who to guard arrow may help you out there there and may eliminate some sliding out there defensive assist strength is the next setting that we want to talk about defensive assist strength may be the main culprit behind you losing control of your player a lot of players like to put this all the way down to zero the good sweet spot over the years for defensive assist strength has been somewhere between 10 and 20 percent so something to consider if you want more control of your player if you want full control take it all the way down but i think you guys it starts out at 50 so that's the default i think you guys may want to consider just lowering it gradually so that way you can become more accustomed because 2k has been taking over your players with defensive assist strength just keep that in mind you may want to lower that all the way down now let's get into some badges and talk about some badges that can help you guys maintain control of your player the first badge that you guys should consider is the ankle braces badge because what ankle braces does it really eliminates the opportunities for ball handlers to get stuns or ankle breaker animations using the space creator badge the ankle breaker badge and the tight hand loose badge if this badge will on gold if you guys equip ankle braces on gold you could cut those animations from the ball handler by almost 50 percent without this badge a ball handler trying to trigger an ankle breaker or stun animation can get one of those animations on you up to 53 percent if you equip ankle braces on gold you cut that number by more than half down to 20 percent limiting the opportunities for ball handlers to trigger animations on your player by the animations that they queue up on their controller giving you guys more control for perimeter defense allowing you guys to become more elite defenders and the next badge right behind me is the post move lockdown badge another badge that you guys should consider we're talking about badges that help eliminate what the offensive player would queue up on their controller and force you into an animation because of the animation that they queued up so post move lockdown is one of those badges that help eliminate that opportunity it's a workaround for 2k animations that combine offense and defense so keep that in mind post move lockdown is one of those badges because if a player in the post triggers a drop step animation or a post spin animation a back down animation post move lockdown is going to do its best to help keep you in front of the animation where a drop step will put you into some
some long-winded animation that forces you back losing control of your player and giving up two points very easily when you have the post move lockdown badge equipped you'll see that you won't get stuck into those heavy animations that allow you to lose control of your player and gives up two points this badge will help create a scenario that'll keep you guys in front of your defender and not force you way out of position when your opponent triggers up an animation another badge that i would really like to get into is the box badge because the box badge i had it i've been running this badge consistently throughout the year and i've noticed a huge difference from bronze to hall of fame if you're a smaller center even if you're a large center because i've created centers from 6 8 to 7 3 you'll notice a huge difference with the box badge i've noticed that at hall of fame you get way more control when you consider the box badge on hall of fame when you trigger up that box animation you guys will feel like you have more control in getting that rebound i've noticed with the box badge at lower levels you feel like your player is not even going into a box out animation and someone just easily swims around you again this badge is made to counter the worm badge but it does so much more in helping you guys maintain full control i hope you guys found this video helpful and or informative and if you did please consider dropping a like on the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing as we intend to have a ton of 2k22 content coming your way i'll catch you guys on the next video easy y'all